All right, it's time for another Tecmo Tuesday. It is week 15, and it is time to play the Patriots. And uh, we'll do an auto skip here. First, a quick look at the standings. We're tied with the Bills at 10 and 3. Dolphins are still in the mix at 8 and 5. Definitely still in the running for a playoff spot. It's going to be, they're basically out of the division because either the Bills or the Colts will win and uh, and be out of reach from them. Uh, Bengals at nine and four, had just ahead of the uh, well, not just ahead. They're two games ahead of the Steelers and Oilers. And then you got the Chiefs at ten and three with the Raiders and Broncos at eight and five each. That's probably the Chiefs are probably gonna win that division. This one's a really interesting one. Cowboys, Giants, and Redskins all at nine and four. Eagles at seven and six still in the hunt. Vikings at six and seven are on top of this horrible division. While the Packers, Lions, and Bucks have all five and eight each, only a, a one game back. These this this shit didn't happen too much back in the day when these divisions were aligned this way because you didn't. Sometimes it happens now because there's eight divisions of four teams each. So it's more likely that you're going to have a bad division. But back then, with more teams in each division and less of them, plus more divisional games uh, played within each other, it was less likely for this to happen. And then the 49ers are at 11-2. and two. They could uh, officially clinch the West this week with a win and a Saints loss. Any other clinching scenarios? Nothing there. Nothing here either, and definitely nothing here. The Bengals could clinch with a win and a Steelers and Oilers loss. And then the Chiefs could also clinch with a win and a Raiders and Broncos loss. I don't know if any of this is impossible due to, you know, some of these teams playing against each other, but, you know, we'll see. So, yeah, before we take the field, we'll see if um, we are... Uh, playing for a top spot in the East by our lonesome, or not, because the Bills-Raiders game will be taking place before ours. <clears throat> Giants beat the Eagles. Bills beat the Raiders 19-13, to so that's not going to happen. The Dolphins win their game, too, to stay in the hunt. So here it is, Patriots and Colts. Uh, and Verdon is still hurt. <clears throat> He'll I mean, he only got hurt last week, so it's it's unusual to come back the next week. But hopefully we can get, uh, I'm going to kick off. Go for that double dip. Cannot overlook this team. We can't be uh, doing that. Oh, shit. I kicked it onside by accident. Ugh. There was no way to, you know, already, I'm saying we can't overlook this team, we can't, uh, you know, play a bad game against a bad team. Uh, can't screw up. And I think that these guys were partying last night, they, you know, they looked at it like, ah, they're 0-13, we're gonna walk the... It's gonna be a fucking cakewalk. Oh shit, Irving Fryer makes a leaping catch. Yeah, I mean, I, I went for, I don't, you know, I always tried with those kickoffs not to kick with full power. There's no real difference between getting completely full power and uh, getting just below. You know, you're still, it, you still, when you had you a couple yards maybe if they uh, kick off space. And a touchdown. So we pay the price for that mishap. <clears throat> it's not worth risking the accidental onside kick. Oh no, man! You know, it, it's this is that uh, 
Okay, we're falling into the trap. Falling into the trap game. They, they still got three yards. I, I thought it was more like four. It felt like four. I called the play, blew up the line, and they still gained some yardage. Alright, let's put an end to this shit. I knew he was gonna throw. Ah! Oh, missed him. Gross. Boy, the, uh, these guys are lethargic today. And the Patriots have come to play. They brought their A game. Some bad breaks. You know, all that. Missed, uh, on its, you know, and it's funny because right before the fumble, you know, Morgan's getting his pretty good return, and I was about to say, it was about to come out of my mouth, that I was considering, like, at that moment to, to maybe keep him in as the, as our starting return man, because he's been doing pretty good with the returns. Right as I'm about to say it, and right as I'm about to jinx it, I didn't even have to, because he goes and fumbles the damn thing. Let's get back in the goddamn uh, game here. This is our first real possession. It's our first possession of the game here, and it's almost the end of the first quarter. And the thing is, is it's funny because they, I mean, yeah, they had the ball twice in a row, but they had short fields both times. You know, the onside kick gave them the ball midfield, and then the uh, fumble gave them the ball in our territory. Man, they got everybody covered. <clears throat> mm, let's go to Ivy Joe. Ready, down. Put, put. Man. Alright. Gotta get a touchdown. Shit! Ugh! Andre Tippett. Well, you know, it was I was considering maybe going for it. But not if I get sacked and th now it's 4th and 13. Right, let's not kick it on site. See, it's like, a, yeah, if I, I leave some space there, because... <clears throat> what's... Oh, maybe I'll kick it in the back of the end zone if I can get, you know, full power. And then you, you know, you, you get an extra couple yards of advantage. It's not worth... The accidental onside. We need to get a pick there. We need to turn this uh, momentum around. Man, they are making these catches in coverage. They were not doing this in the first game. Just moving the chains. Jesus Christ. We let Steve Grogan, like one of the slowest, worst quarterbacks in the fucking loop in this game. Uh, he had a fine career, you know, but in this game, he is bad. But he is, ugh, making... Just getting... Just, Goddamn school. We need to ugh, we need to make a serious comeback here. All 
All right, we've got time. All right, that's a good start. Man, it just everybody is so freaking covered. Oh no! Fuck! You know, I was. He, I, yeah, he was covered, but I was looking at it like he was. He, he was starting to get some ground on him, but I didn't throw it to him in stride. I threw it to him. He had to come back to it, and it was right in the line of fire. So, so much for the whole friggin', uh, you know, double dip and then get to, to get back into the game. That's not happening. Now we gotta just prevent... Uh, I don't know, the... Oh man, it would've been so nice to get a pick there. You know, they could have just let the timer run out. This is the thing about the Tecmo AI. It's not so great. So, sometimes they call timeouts on fourth down in these situations. Because it's just programmed not to, uh, you know, just don't fucking fumble it. Because they're programmed to just, uh... Like, they're st on fourth down in the you know, last two minutes of the halves to just call timeouts. Even, but then, you know, it, it doesn't matter that it's fourth down, they'll do the same damn thing. Alright, this is it. We gotta, we gotta score. In fact, I'm not even, uh... I can't even, uh, there's not, I'm not gonna punt it, either, if, uh, if I face with a fourth down. I have to go for it. There's not enough time with the amount of scores we're down. Look at this coverage! This is that, uh, this is exactly what I feared. That they would, you know, play their son of a bitch. You know, the, the that 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 botched kickoff was the was the turning point of the game. Look at this, Allen's just juking out all the drones like it's nobody's business. Ah, come on, we need a pick. We need a pick. Not just we want a pick, you know, we absolutely have to have it. You know, to have any goddamn chance. We get a block. Ah. All right, miss kick. We gotta score. We gotta score quick. Everybody is covered like a blanket. Another pick. Jesus, age Christ. I just that was just desperation. You know, I just had to get throw it to somebody. Everybody is covered. Jesus Christ, almost gave up that one. <clears throat> Couldn't get that one either. Oh man, are you kidding me? They kicked like... I don't even know what that was. It was a long fucking field goal. Now, in this game, they can kick... Uh, some of these kickers in particular can kick ridiculously long field goals, but it's still not easy. You still have to, uh, you know, your accuracy has to be spot on. Oh, man, I had a guy, too. I think it was Brooks. He was open. Ready, 
they, they're just out of their minds today. Everybody's in. Everybody must have like top physical condition. Look at this. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta scramble with George. That's like. Ugh. Couldn't even think of a bad metaphor. God, it's like there's absolutely no. Can't catch a break. Ugh. It's pulling teeth to get yards against these guys. First game, everybody was wide open. It's like there was no defense whatsoever uh, in the first game. Try to run it in here. <sighs> too little, too late. Look at that! Right into his hand, he just catches it. Not even a, not even a, you know, a scramble for it or anything. Fumble it. Ready, down. Hut, 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 hut. Oh man, you know, that was the time that right there, you know, if we could get a pick, score quick, and even then it's like it's asking for too much, but Look at this, John Steams is running like Bo fucking Jackson. Fuck off. And of course it's the goddamn Patriots too. Fucking hate the Patriots. I know in Tecmo they're 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 not the Patriots, the Patriots everybody knows now. This was back in the good old days when they sucked. But they put, you know. They put forth their, you know, big. They, they looked at this as like their. Uh, they were embarrassed by week one, and they, uh. You know, they. They birthed their A game. And for us, you know, we, we are very lethargic. It's, we picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. In fact, I'm gonna put the backups in. Uh, because I, um, it's gonna be all hands on deck next week. I already have an injured fucking receiver sitting over there. Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. Right, welcome back to the fucking field, Trudeau. Get blasted. Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. Jesus Christ, this is just... <laughs> I thought that one of the uh the running backs over there that was uh hanging out was a, was a viable receiver, but he wasn't. Well, this is a tough loss. This is uh, this is gonna set back the whole, you know, going for the East thing, because we got a score here. We, I mean, I know that it's we're gonna, we're gonna lose, but the point differential thing is our meal ticket. All right, that helps out the cause, I guess. 
Because we now we're a game back from Buffalo. And... If, even if we beat them... Then we're going to be tied, and then it's the whole point differential. Tiebreaker. So this was a tough pill to swallow. Look at this. 44 yards rushing. They didn't run the ball for a lot either, but they ran it for a lot more than we did. Or, like, not, not even a lot more. But it's just that bad. We outgained them in the passing game, but two picks and two fumbles. Plus an onside kick that was not meant to even happen. Just bad. Look at these fucking numbers, man. Every they they their defensive backfield you would confuse them with like the Legion of Boom or some shit. So this was a rough fucking game. I didn't even get to the uh, triple digits with Jeff George. I didn't even get to double digits with uh, with rushing. Not even close. Couldn't even get 50 yards rushing. So, ugh. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I couldn't get to, to triple digits with George, but then again, I also sat him. So what that's worth simulate the rest of the week so yeah so congratulations to the fucking goddamn patriots who get their first win of the season at our expense it, it, I, I i called it weeks ago i said and there it is san francisco does clinch their division as they basically do 99 times out of 100 when you simulate the season All right, let's take a look at this. Ugh. You know, we actually don't even have a firm grip on second either, because if Buffalo wins, Miami could close in on us, and they have... You know, they have a... They, they might have a better point differential. It looks like it's pretty close. They do have a better point differential as it stands right now. So, they could drop us to third. Bengals only one game up over Pittsburgh. They're losing ground on that. They, they're, they you know, developing a little bit of a losing streak here. And then the Chiefs still up at top, but Denver's closing in on them. So, very interesting there. And look at this. All three teams in the NFC East are tied at 10-4. and four. Um, Eagles, forget about it at this point. It's going to be these three teams in the East that are going to get in. It's just a matter of who clinches. Vikings are making this, um, you know, uh, they could end up with a respectable 8-8 eight and eight or 9-7 and seven to clinch the division. It doesn't mean that we can't see a 7-9 and nine team win, but that would, uh, you know, that wouldn't surprise me either. And as we just learned, the 49ers clinch their division as expected. So... <sighs> it's a, it, it was a tough, tough loss against a winless team, too. It's, it's those donut games. You you play a good team, and, uh, you know, upcoming, and you you play a shitty team in the middle, that donut in between. And you're looking ahead to that big matchup the week after, and we fail. And, you know, I was looking at it like, oh, maybe we can win, and then Buffalo lose to the Raiders. Neither one of them happened, so now we're on the other side of the coin having to win to try to just tie the damn thing. So, I don't know. You know, we'll see how it goes. You know what, before I even do anything, I want to switch my starters back because I don't want to forget and accidentally uh, leave them in there. I, I left Beach and as the starting tight end. Uh, yeah, so that was that. Hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can make up for this next week against the Bills. Biggest game of the year so far. So until then, we'll see you next week.